So I've just arrived in Cornus, uh, as you can see, it's very wet, I have no idea where I am, I just got off a bus, um, very important you buy a bus ticket, I did buy a bus ticket, I didn't know what bus ticket to buy so I opted for the most expensive one, 80 cents, so no idea if that was the right one or not, um, but lucky I did because um, I just got off the bus and there were five ticket inspectors. So uh, it seems they're quite, they clamp down on uh, people skipping bus uh, fares in this country, uh, which, which I have to respect. I wish London did more, more of that, because there's certainly a lot of uh, bus uh, thieves in London. Anyway, trying to find where I'm going to be staying in the rain. Hey, so I'm all checked in. Um, it turns out you can get some real bargains on um, websites like Travago and Amoma and uh, well, there's Hotels.com. If you look at all, all those websites, you can normally pick up a, a cheap hotel room at the last minute. That's exactly what I did here. Um, although it is a cheap, ho I got a cheap rate, but it also means I got this probably the smallest room on the floor. Check this out. So this is my room out of all the rooms. Tiny, but you know, it's got like a, it's got a double bed. It's, uh, it's, you know, <laughs> it will do the job. Anyway, uh, and it was almost as cheap as staying in some, it was cheaper than Airbnb, and it was almost as cheap as staying in a hostel. So uh, hopefully it's gonna stop raining and I can go explore. So I just uh, had my first night in Cornus. The whole night it was raining. Uh, I'm now having my breakfast. <laughs> 30 cents for a croissant. This is exactly um, why traveling in this part of the world is so cheap. A nice big croissant for 30 cents. In Barcelona, I'll give you a clue, it was 120 for a croissant. Is a McDonald's index, is a croissant index. Um, very for useful. Gives you an idea on spending power in countries. The croissant index in Lithuania is 30 cents. I'm off to go see a couple of museums now. Uh, one of the museums I've been told about, the Devil Museum, a museum entirely focused on the devil. Will it be any good? Who knows, let's go and have a look. Hello, so we're just outside the Museum of the Devil. This is in the centre of Cornus. I'm just about to go in and see what it's like.
was an interesting museum. Um, it costs three euros to go in. Um, I would say it's three euros well spent. Uh, not the biggest of museums. Um, you probably could see um, I, most of it from my video. Uh, it was four floors and it was basically devil art or devil sculptures or devil ornaments, uh, symbols from, from around the world. Basically, every culture has the devil in it in some form or another. Some call, it, some call him Satan, some call him Beelzebub, some call him multiple other things. But what was interesting was seeing how each culture depicted him. Um, I urge you to go see the Devil Museum when you're in Cornus. Uh, you will like it, um, but don't expect to spend more than half an hour, 45 minutes there, that, you know, an hour at max if you read everything. Um, but nonetheless, uh, three euros is good value. Uh, thumbs up. So I'm um, here in Cornus. This is the centre. This is one of the big cathedrals of Cornus. Uh, someone's just got married in the background. Beautiful couple. Um, it's constantly raining. The sun's out briefly, but uh, we are constantly getting rained on. And uh, well, it makes have to, have to admit walking around cities is far much far much more fun when it's not raining. However, I am making the most of it. Onwards. I'm the only tourist in Cornus. It's, it's quite nice actually. So, I like the emptiness of this place. Yep, it's raining. It's raining hard. <laughs> it's just constantly raining. But, you know, <laughs> what can you do?
found myself on some really bizarre shopping area. It's bizarre in the fact that no one's around. It's completely dead. It's like an industrial wasteland. Um, this is what the apocalypse looks like. <laughs> Okay, so that might look old school, but I think that's actually pretty good innovation. The reason London has a terrible, terrible air quality is because there's so many buses and taxis. Now, we can solve the bus problem. We either go hydrogen on the buses or we actually make the buses and the public transport all electric. In Cornus, they've basically got these electricity wires everywhere. Um, so basically, this you know, if you take out the cars, which are obviously polluting the air, you have buses that are clean and just basically running on electricity and people's lungs are in a better shape because of it. Anyway, that was my, that was just my thoughts on the buses in Cornus. Hello, so here I am at Cornish Castle, basically by the side of the river that flows uh, through Cornish. Actually, I'm going to stop myself there because last night I've just heard that I've been saying Cornish completely wrong because apparently Cornish is Spanish for pussy. So let's not say Cornish anymore. Apparently we should say Cowness. So this is Cowness Castle, mid 14th century uh, built so it's very old 
older than uh, the new world, that's for sure. Um, gonna go have a look. Ancient times, I imagine it was a little bit more interesting than a car park. A nice view of the meandering river. So I've seen a lot of graffiti in uh, Kaunas, uh, especially tags of Antifa, which is slightly annoying, I find. There's another one over here. See? Antifa are effectively a plague on the Western civilization. They, uh, they disagree in free speech. They are fascists. They are the new fascists. They call themselves the anti-fascists. The reality is they, they hate anyone that they disagree with. Anyone they disagree with, they will silence. Uh, Antifa really need to be banned as an organization. I, I hate banning things. I'm not, I'm not the government, so I can't ban people. But Antifa need to be banned. Awful organization. An absolute scum. It is such a beautiful day at last. Um, I wish I'd actually saved my walking for today rather than yesterday. Yesterday I walked um, 15, 15 miles solid um, according to my app. Um, but yeah, the feet are a little bit sort of uh, tired today. The problem is I'm really hungover today. I know that's not good. Um, but it basically means walking around is a little bit harder today, has to be said. Um, just enjoying, just enjoying the old town. The old town is obviously a lot more scenic than the new town, which is where I spent most of my day yesterday. Uh, cobbled streets, beautiful sort of colonial buildings. Everything's sort of built from about the 14th century onwards. It's a really, really beautiful town, especially in the sunshine. So I'm just approaching the end of my days in Kaunas. It's been a beautiful, beautiful couple of days. Uh, three nights in total. Uh, so, well, two and a half days really. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice city. It's a, it's a bit sparse in parts. I probably shouldn't have walked around the sort of London equivalent to the A406 ring road. Um, I don't know why I did that, but I, I, you know, sometimes it's good to get your walking shoes on and just sort of see as much as possible. Um, just at the moment, walking beside uh, the river that flows uh, basically to the side of Kaunas, slightly through Kaunas. Um, yeah, it's uh, when it's sunny, Kaunas is a beautiful place. A lot of nice pubs, a lot of nice uh, nightlife. I was able to witness some of the uh, nightclubs last night, hence I'm looking a little bit under the weather. I think I drank a little bit too much and um, the bars the bars were fun. The bars, the bars are what you'd imagine sort of rowdy Australian bars to be, rowdy sort of bars you find in Clapham. Those sort of bars, uh, there was a couple of sophisticated places. Uh, the nightclubs were, you know, average, but they were fun. Everyone was there to have a good time, and I think the people of uh, Lithuania know how to have a good time. Uh, I totally recommend Lithuania's second city, Kaunas. Uh, when, you've, when you've checked out Vilnius, you need to check out Kaunas. It's a beautiful place, and um, yeah, make sure you come on a sunny day, not on a rainy day. Uh, proven, by, proven by this. Anyway, until next time. Oh, by the way, subscribe. There's going to be more of these videos. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>
We'll see you next.